There goes that bell, and up in the ring, we've got the makings of a battle to start off your portion of Houston wrestling here from the Sam Houston Coliseum tonight. And we want you to take a good look at Hacksaw Duggan. Hacksaw is the taller of the two. He is the man in the black trunks. He is the man in the tall white shoes. And he is the man in the wild style and the sometimes ungovernable temper. He's up against Frank Monte. Frank hails from Alaska. And Frank throws him like an iceberg. That was a beautiful toss. Now, Monty is a guy who knows his way around in the wrestling ring and has had a lot of experience. And that drop kick will show you. So it's Frank Monty, who is 230 pounds, well placed, well muscled, compact pounds. And Hacksaw Duggan, who gets up into the 270s and knows how to use it. The referee is Jack Howe. The time limit in this match is one fall or 15 minutes. And as they push each other around here, you can tell that 230 pounds cannot always match up when a 270 pounder just forcefully manhandles them. This is a case of sheer intimidation because the big fellow, Hacksaw, is, well, he's down. There's no question about that. He may push Monty around, but what Frank did that time was to just avoid him and go with him in the same direction his weight was going, and then he was able to, to throw him. Push became a shove. We want to remind all of our fans that if you're going to be on the highway this weekend, and many, many, many of our fans are, we suggest to you, please drive carefully. We can't afford to lose you. Beautiful arm drag by Frank Monte. He got into him at the proper angle and was able to use his body as well as the momentum of Duggan, with two Gs, of course, and toss him over. Monty trying to set Duggan up for another throw if he can. He's got an arm bar, and as he maneuvers around, it's Duggan who found the key to it. Monty avoiding, yes. Oh, he hit hard. When 270 pounds hits, it hits like 270 pounds of brick. Frank Monte working on that arm, trying to cinch down on the arm bar. up there with that knee and drove it in. That big foot of his does a lot of damage. We've got a whole, more than a hundred of the people from out at Doug Russell Chevrolet as our guests here tonight. It's Doug Russell Chevrolet night. And those people will be back at work on Monday morning and so will the people at IW Marks. They'll be back at work on Monday morning, but our ticket office at 1919 Caroline will be closed. But we just mention that because when we mention that our ticket office is closed, we want you to remember that our two sponsors are open on Monday. In behind the hacksaw, Looking to get a re keep that reverse chin lock. Now the fans start to 
Well, I was going to say tease, but that would be the wrong word. But this, <laughs> they're starting to harass him. Five minutes have gone by. And Monty looking for an opening. An elbow in the stomach might do it, but you saw it. But did referee Jack Howe see it? Duggan issuing the denial. Just looked him in the eye. Now as Monty gets up, he's looking for a Japanese arm lock. He might be able to work this to his advantage. And then again, I wouldn't trust Duggan as far as, well, he found some more leverage, and that's why I didn't trust him. I want to thank all of you fans who commiserated with me on the Humiliation I suffered at the hands and feet of Gino Hernandez last week. It was nice of you to sympathize with me, but I guess I talked my way into that one, and there was only one way out of it, and that was to do what I said I would do. But thank you anyway. I appreciate all your calls and your little notes and the pats on the back you gave me. He brought him over and brought him over solidly. And there is a good move by Frank Monty. And Duggan finds the muscle is pretty tender when a guy drops on it with a lot of bone. He come in there and laid it in tight. So now you're getting a close-up look of muscle at work. And Duggan tries to twist around and to literally corkscrew his way out of it. And Duggan, that wild man from New York, dove at him as though he was trying to avoid a taxi. Instead, Monty avoided him well. Twisting arm lock and then up into a hammer lock and Frank Monty literally stands on his toes in order to get the leverage he needs to get it up there uh, just an extra inch. And sometimes that extra inch is all that you need. Monty with a hammer lock. Now the arm has come down. And Monty didn't believe the referee's count. He just kept there when <laughs> when Duggan relaxed, he jerked him out into the ring. So that's a way to get him. Caught him a beautiful kick. Oh, he laid it right in the whiskers. And it worked well for Frank Monte. He should have had the same luck when he dove at him that time with that elbow. You notice where Duggan landed, right at the short ribs. And now we could have a capitulation fall here. Monty could give up. Jack Howe, referee watching, watching closely. He's trying to get into a defensive position here that would enable him to. Oh, he didn't enable him to stop that. As Duggan counted to six that time. Crotch, lift, and slam, and hacksaw that's ready for a long dot. You notice the way he tried to stop. He might have been better off if he had hit with his head. The head of his is pretty hard. But uh, now it's Duggan who is in trouble. Awkward manner in which he fell can take an, an awful lot out of a man. 
Duggan with a roar, and as he roared that time, it was because he sensed what was happening. Ten minutes have gone by, and five minutes remain as Duggan lowers the hacksaw. Here's Duggan going out there to induce Monte into a quick insertion into the ring. Oh. Duggan. Now he wants his man up there. He stunned him on the outside. He gave him a, an extra 20 seconds to get out. That'll help. Bow and arrow tackle. And there he goes for sunset flip. And over goes Duggan. There's one, there's two, but that's all. Head on smash and a solid one. And Monty right now has his best opening. Although he, well, he had his best opening. And this may work. Caught him in midair. That takes a lot of doing. Caught him coming through the air and that's only 230 pounds he's carrying. Backbreaker. And Duggan is the winner. Hacksaw 